Hey guys and welcome to West Clear. So today I'm hoping to do a bit more fossil hunting. You might have seen in one of our videos about a year or two ago that we were on the beach and we found a fossil. Well I finally managed to get back to the same beach and go to go down and do a proper look around see if we find any more fossils maybe give you some tips even though I'm a complete amateur but uh, we might see what we can find but just thought I'd show you this view first isn't that amazing great day for fossil hunting now so the first thing about a fossil hunter or any kind of beach combing is always safety so as you can see it's low tide at the moment so that means the tide's gone out so check the timetables and it's not going to be fully in for about five hours so always be aware when the tide's going to come in because you don't want to be caught half ways down the beach and not be able to find a way back up so always uh, know your times and also know your escape routes so that's how i'm going to get back up out of the beach but uh where i'm going down is off down there say under beside those cliffs so uh, i definitely want to not turn around and find myself surrounded by water because <laughs> I'm, I'm no spider-man and won't be able to climb a cliff so that's always be very careful and safety always let people know where you are and also the other thing is because we will be near enough to cliffs be careful as you can see a lot of these cliffs have a lot of erosion going on so definitely don't go right underneath a cliff because part of it could fall down on top of you um, especially with all the storms and that that was going on at the moment there's going to be lots of loose rocks and that so always just stay a bit away from the, the cliff and the same standing on top of the cliff as well if you're doing a bit of scouting around don't stand right near the edge because it could be eroded out from underneath you and you're not even knowing it and the whole thing could just collapse so safety first now we're going to start making our way off down there to the end where we're going to hopefully maybe find some fossils so while we're walking along here i'm just taking a look at all the rocks as you can see this area is quite wet so that means it floods i mean it's a high tide so lots of big rocks that's kind of left there again i'm a complete amateur so i couldn't even tell you what kind of rock they are <laughs> But uh, these big ones don't move with the tide. But what's interesting here, when you get a closer look at the cliffs here, you can see the stratification or the time layers. Like when you, as you work your way down, go lower and lower through the cliff, you're going further and further back in time. So the green at the very top is obviously the grass. Then you have your mud layer. And then you've got stones. So at one stage, there was quite a bit of stones this area and then as you work your way down these layers have just built up over millions and millions of years and as you can see about half ways down there's a there's a fine red wood layer as well not sure what that is and then you've got that grey soil all the way down until you come down to very back in time so Ireland at the time the dinosaurs you know kind of 65 million years ago backwards <laughs> was uh, generally underwater so you don't really find any dinosaur skeletons but you might find some uh, fossilized remains of uh, underwater plants and that's what we found a few years ago it was uh, was a kind of a believe or that i call them at the time a kind of like almost like um old uh coral reef kind of plants a kind of a that lived a long time ago so i'm hoping to find something like that or maybe indications of like an old seabed um so and if you're very lucky like there's a place in uh, england or that where to find uh, lots of plesiosaurs and that which are kind of a underwater lizards a bit like nessie <laughs> so i'm not expecting to find anything like that but uh might hopefully see see some interesting little things of uh, the sea million and millions of years ago oh, here's a big interesting rock here yeah. see, that almost looks like rivulets of sand so it's kind of possibly this might have been part of the seabed at one stage you never know ah, now finally uh, made it down to where I hope you do a good bit of looking around so as you can see there's this outcropper of rocks here stretches off out from the cliffs out into the sea 
this was the last time where we found uh, those old fossilized uh, seabed remains and hopefully maybe we might see a bit more so I see some really big boulders out there as well so the question is where to start honestly I don't know <laughs> if you're being really organized you'd probably map out the area and then have like a break it up into a grid search and search each area as you go along but I'm just more out for a, a nice interesting wander around so I'm just going to walk around and see if there's any features that catch my eye I've always been aware of the cliff and not going too close to it there because as you can see there's quite a bit of subsidence underneath the grass there and that you know, here's a quite an interesting boulder and it also demonstrates another important thing when you're looking for fossils that is light so because it's a really nice bright day and it's casting really long shadows it means the contrast on the rock everything's just popping out as you can see whereas if this was a dark dull day you wouldn't see near as much contrast so you mightn't see any interesting features so there's a possibility that this is some ancient seabed here kind of like those little features as little indentations and uh, another rock here kind of looks like where the sand you have been sitting on a fossilized beach millions and millions of years ago but again as I say the real importance is light when you're looking for fossils or even uh, doing a bit of archaeology looking at sites if you get a good bright day with a good contrast just all the features just going to pop out at you yeah. so as you can see there's loads of little pools of water here so indicating that at high tide the sea which is off over there comes all the way in here and covers all these cliffs so again just another safety tip is that don't be caught here when the water comes in because <laughs> there's going to be nowhere to go so we've got some real interesting see this is almost like a seabed it's been a bit put on its side yeah this is so cool here yeah so i'm just going to continue wandering around and see what else i can find about <laughs> so even if I don't find any uh, fossils I'm getting a bit of exercise and a bit of fresh air and again with the sun and the sea almost sound like uh, uh, something from Peppa Pig the sun the sky and the sea <laughs> but uh, yeah it's, it's amazing uh, this place is like a geologist playground it's uh, amazing all the different features but, uh, Running around and saw this. This is a bit like what I was talking about the stratification of the cliffs earlier on, but this is layers of stone. It's on the ancient seabed, one layered on top of the other. Oh, it's like a, well, like a layer cake. <laughs> See that? It's just one layer after the other, after the other, after the other. And that's what they all look like. That is an ancient seabed. I haven't seen any shells here, but you can see the water that moved to sand in all the millions of years. The sand's compressed and turned into stone. Over here, this side is another interesting feature. You can see here, the layers are starting to, uh, it's like there was an upheaval at one stage, maybe an earthquake or that, and so what was originally flat seabed gets to turn up on its side over millennia, so then the layers are not sitting flat anymore, and here's a cool little area here, all these 
to get the lap rocks. That's all cool. Remember to see that is it's not flat anymore. <laughs> Yeah, again, not seeing any uh, animal fossil remains or that, but even just walking through here, it's a, it's a very ancient kind of landscape. So that's really cool that you can actually see the layering for millions of years. Well, I've got to continue my search. There's uh, plenty more to look around on. So I'm up on top of this layer that we're looking at there. So this one layer is a piece of ancient seabed. So I'm walking on an actual seabed, like a snapshot of what it looked like millennia ago. So you can see all these rivets in that where the sea had moved the sand. Again, no animal fossil remains that I can see or shells or that sometimes you could see the prints of shells and maybe the fossil remains of a shell but nothing but it's still cool to be able to walk on that agency without having to have a diving suit. <laughs> tons of rock <laughs> out here so uh, every time you're out and about take a look down you never know what you might see at the bottom of your feet. Uh, see you later.